Hey everybody, um, Trevor here and we're doing some affiliate marketing training tonight once again. Uh, I, I want to talk just really, really fast and just briefly cover what we've been speaking about the last few weeks. And I, I want you guys to tell me who've been here live with me when, when we're talking about um, affiliate advertising and making money doing link postings and, and uh, you know, using these affiliate brokerages and we've talked about AdSense and everything else. Real quick, just recap with me. If you want to make money off of, a, of an, a, an informational website, or and I'm sorry, if you want to make money off of an informational website, what are some of the options we have based on what we've learned so far? You've got this great website. It's got a bunch of great information on it. You want to post links on it. Where do we go to get those links and what kind of links can we post? Specifically too. Like what what have we talked about? How can we monetize a website like that? You guys recognize that? Google AdSense, right? We make money off of a, you know, a posted ad and we get paid per click, right? Okay, so Google AdSense is one. What else? Where else can we find, find companies to monetize our site? The last couple of weeks we've talked about these, these types of places, specifically. Link share right? Or starts with an R, Rakuten, right? Rakuten link share. What did we talk about last week? Who was the brokerage we discussed last week? CJ, right? Yeah. CJ.com or Commission Junction. Okay. These are affiliate brokerages, right? We'll just put that in quotes. That's a that's a brokerage or network. Guys, how many of these brokerages are out there? There's tons. Tons and tons and tons. Um, some that we haven't talked about, but will. This one right here. That's another brokerage we haven't talked about but need to. This one right here. Haven't talked about that one, have we? Any uh, any any other big ones we haven't talked about? Some that you may have heard of that we haven't that we haven't had a chance to talk about. There's lots. We're not going to make a comprehensive list right here, but I just want you to know there's other ones that, that we need to get involved with, we need to talk about that we haven't. Tonight, I just want to talk about the good old-fashioned way to find affiliates. Okay, so, so far our strategy has been, if you've got this really great, um, you have this really great event, uh, informational site, you go and, uh, and, and set up accounts with CJ, and link share, and then you search their affiliate databases to try to come up with potential affiliate opportunities, right? You see basically what's inside their database, and then you use and apply for what's inside there. Well, there's other ways you can go about searching and finding affiliate programs, and I want to show you the good old fashioned way. Surprise. Google, right? So we're going to we're going to start our search right here on Google. And I I just want to prove to you tonight that virtually any brand or any product can be marketed and has some sort of an affiliate affiliate program that you can use. That's why the sky is absolutely the limit when you set up a an informational website, I can guarantee you're going to be able to find some sort of an affiliate that can work on it which is why I never tell you guys to go figure out which affiliates are going to be good to work with first. I always start with, hey, what are you passionate about? 
What do you love? What are you interested in learning about? Let's build a site around that and then we'll figure out how to make money on it. That's what's so cool about this type of marketing. I mean, where where in the world can you decide what to build your business on that follows a passion and then go figure out how to make money on it? That's not usually what people do for business, right? They figure out what makes money and then build their business out off of that. We start with our passions here, and that's what makes this fun. Okay, so let's just let's just pick out some random brands here, okay? I made I made a little list here just before, um, you know, be before we started, it, just random brands that came to mind. Okay, random brands, random companies that I wanted to prove to you that we could just search for them and find them in Google. And I'm gonna I'm gonna have you guys give me some brands and some companies that might be interesting to you to see if we can't just go find their affiliate program somewhere. And here's how I would do it. Some big recognizable names, okay? Let's say you have an athletic website, health and fitness, and you want to market Nike products, okay? So here's what I'm going to do in Google. I'm just going to type in, type in Nike affiliate program like this, and uh, and I can look for it here in Google. Now, usually, usually you don't have to look too hard because if you're just doing your brand name or your company followed by affiliate program, you're going to find it. And, and sure enough, this first listing right here that I'm going to click on takes me into Nike's affiliate program right here. Now, most of the time, they're going to give you some information about it. Um, it says, through the Nike affiliate program, select sites can earn commission by promoting Nike products if your application is accepted. And note that, guys. There's always an application involved. You have to apply to be set up with affiliates. You'll be invited to browse the extensive range of Nike links and banners to place on your websites. Affiliates can earn up to 11% commission on all valid sales. Okay, so here's, um, here's it's, it looks like program benefits. We don't really look at that right now. Examples of Nike affiliate partners, content sites right here. I know this is probably real small. Let me zoom in on this for a sec. There we go, that's probably better. You can see that a little bit better now. There we go. Okay, sorry. There we go. So examples of Nike affiliate partners, true content sites. Are you guys true content sites? Sites you should be. That's what that's what blogging's all about. And also it has bloggers here, sports sites, fashion clothing, shoe sites, news sites, shopping directories, health and fitness sites. They're basically saying if you're one of these, then you could potentially qualify for Nike's affiliate program, um, so on and so forth. So there should be a way to apply. Let me zoom out here. Let's see if we can figure out how to actually apply for their program. Um, might be this right here. Let's click on that. Ah, all right. This is through WebGains. WebGains is a is an affiliate brokerage of some sort. So Nike is managed through this WebGains, and I would come here to apply. All right, fair enough. Somebody give me a brand real quick. A brand or a type of product that we want to try to find an affiliate program for. Pam says Mossy Oak. Mossy Oak, Pam, is that just a some sort of a retail store of some kind or another? Let's just look it up then. Mossy Oak Affiliate Program. Did I spell that right, by the way, Pam? I'm going to go to mossyoak.com to see what we're talking about here. Oh, it's like a, uh, like a sportsman site or something.
right? Okay. Uh, so I see some Under Armour on their site. They sell some Under Armour products, it looks like. Let's see if they have an affiliate program. So I just did a search. Mossy Oak Affiliate Program. I'm not seeing a direct affiliate program. Let me put them in quotes. Let's do this. Mossyoak.com affiliate program. Let's see if we can find it that way. Now, this is their terms and use statement right here. Sometimes if you're on their website, if they do have an affiliate program, it'll be listed down here at the bottom. It looks like these guys don't. Now, if if they don't have an affiliate program, you can look at their products. I saw Under Armour on here as a product. Um, looks like they have some Under Armour like sport outdoor sporting apparel. So instead of looking for the general retail company's affiliate program, look for some of the brands. Under Armour um, affiliate program. Let's see if they've got one. There we go. Under Armour affiliate program. Yep. Check this out too, guys. You guys, you guys are all familiar with Under Armour, right? Big uh, sporting brand. Look, you, it, their their program is managed through these guys, Commission Junction and Avant Link. So in other words, you could sign up to be with Under Armour, but you'd have to do it through one of these two networks. We're gonna we're actually gonna see that a lot. I can guarantee it as we're looking at different affiliates. We're, we're gonna see that a fair bit. So I, the takeaway here is, although Mossy Oak may not have an affiliate program, look at the types of products they, ca they, uh, they carry and the brands that they carry and look for their specific brand. Good example. Um, all right, let's, let's take some of your guys' other suggestions. Um, Porsche luggage is a suggestion I see here. Richard and Virginia, that's coming from you guys. Porsche is, is that that's just that's just the brand of luggage in this case. Porsche, Porsche luggage. Yeah, like like the brand, like the car, I guess, huh? All right, Porsche. Guess this would be an example right here. Check out their shopping. Yeah, it's it's pretty spendy stuff, it looks like. Dang. Of course, luggage is expensive anyway. All right, so let's go to Google, and let's do Porsche Luggage Affiliate Program. Okay, so there's some luggage companies that are coming up. LuggageForward.com. Has an affiliate program, it looks like, and here's a place where you register. I don't know if they carry Porsche luggage, but they do carry luggage. Luggage Pros. It's like they have an affiliate program, and guess what? You guys should recognize this right here. Commission Junction, they're sponsored through. Which means if you already have a Commission Junction account, you could just look up Luggage Pros on Commission Junction and apply directly through them, or you could click through this right here and apply. A, I, a, a word of, ex, of advice, though, if you can't find like a specific brand of something that, that you want to find an affiliate program for, do Amazon Associates program. I'll show that well, we're going to do a training on these guys later. Amazon.com Associates. Amazon has their own affiliate program where you where you make money off of all Amazon sales. I'm bet I'm guessing Amazon probably has some of this Porsche luggage, and you could come in, sign up with Amazon Associates, 
promote these Amazon products and then and then promote your Porsche luggage from there. That's kind of a good fallback. If you can't find it, sign up for Amazon Associates and market it through um, using their network. All right, how about uh, how about hunting gear? See if there's any hunting gear affiliate programs out there. So what I would do is I'd start at Google and I would just type in probably hunting affiliate program and do a search. See what we come up with. Here's the first one that comes up. You guys probably recognize this one right here. This is Cabela's, right? You hunters out there should recognize these guys. Their affiliate program looks like it's through, I know this is small, through a Vaunt link. A brokerage that we haven't talked about, but a brokerage that you can sign up for. What other ones come up? Um, Sportsman's Guide, ShopDeerHunting.com, Bass Pro came up. Let's click on Bass Pro. It talks about their affiliate program. And I can apply now right here. If I click Apply Now, it takes me over to a Commission Junction sign up, which means Bass Pro Shops is managed through Commission Junction. Okay, so you'll, what you'll find is you're looking at these different brands out there. Um, a lot of them are already managed through one of these giant brokerages. You'll, you'll see that a lot. All right, let me pick a random one. I'm looking on my desk, and I've got some uh, Purell hand sanitizer. You guys know what I'm talking about? Show you a picture of what I'm talking about. There you go. I've got that sitting on my desk right now. So what if I had a you know, a health and wellness site and I wanted to promote some hand sanitizers, right? Well, let's go to Google and let's look for it. Purell Affiliate Program. Let's see if they've got a direct one. No, that doesn't look right. No, it's Office Depot. No, I don't see that. Okay, so I don't see a direct affiliate program for for just Purell products. Um, but I have to ask myself, where is Purell? Like, what what companies sell Purell products? So I could I could just type in Purell hand sanitizer, sanitizer, and do a search. Let's just figure out who sells it, and then see if that company has an affiliate program. Amazon sells it, so we could go sign up with the Amazon affiliate program and promote it that way. Walmart sells it. Guys, does Walmart have an affiliate program? You bet it does. So if we know that Walmart sells Purell stuff, I could come up here and do Walmart affiliate program like this. And then sure enough, here's their here's Walmart's affiliate. You can learn all about their affiliate program. I can click become a member and let's who let's see who sponsors their affiliate program. Guess what? You guys should recognize this one right here. Who's that? That's LinkShare. That's one of the ones we've talked about, right? Rakuten LinkShare. Alan Hershey is a company. Let's let's look for that. Hershey affiliate program. I wonder if they have one. Um, yep. They've got one here with affiliate that dot com. That must be the, the affiliate that it's through. I've I've never used them before. But yeah, they've got one right here. Looks like I could sign up through them. Okay. So Hershey's New Balance shoes. Oddly enough, I'm I'm wearing a pair of New Balance shoes right now. 
Does New Balance have an affiliate program? New Balance Shoes Affiliate Program. Yep, it looks like it. New Balance Affiliate Program, they sure do. Commission rates are about 7% on them. Okay, if I click Join here, it's through Racket and Link Share. Okay. You guys recognize that one? We've seen Commission Junction come up a few times. We've seen Link Share come up a few times. How about uh, how about a big one? Like, what if you wanted to sell Apple products, right? Like iPhones and iMacs and MacBook Pros and Apple affiliate program. Sorry, I'm trying to get to all of your requests here, but they're coming in like crazy. I don't know if we'll be able to. It's like they've got an affiliate program right here. Um, you're invited to join the iTunes App Store, iBook Store, and Mac App Store affiliate program as an affiliate. You earn commission on sales, linking to music, apps, books, and more. Yeah, they've got an affiliate program here. You bet. This would be through... Um, their uh, like iTunes and their App Store. Yeah, I mean, virtually anything, right? No, good question, Vicky. So Vicky said, if you have an account um, established with an affiliate, do you need to reapply for each different product? No. So, like, if I get approved for Walmart's affiliate program, I can promote any Walmart product and make money off of it. If, I, if I'm approved for Amazon's Associates affiliate program, I can promote absolutely any product on Amazon and make a commission off of it. Amazon's is pretty powerful because if you think about it, virtually all products sell on Amazon. So that means I, I have at my fingertips almost any product I want to promote online and make a commission on. Right? Amazon's is pretty powerful that way. A lot of people use that Amazon affiliate program. Um, what else? Um, and there is no cost, Michelle. Nope. Not, affiliate programs tradi traditionally don't cost anything. They, they don't, they don't charge you. I mean, because you're, you're, you're simply marketing their stuff, right? For free. And they're, they're paying you commissions on it. So they, they don't, they don't typically charge you. The only challenge with affiliate programs, like we talked about, is you have to get approved, right? All of them have applications, and you have to get approved. And as we showed in other videos, sometimes I'll apply, and, and I'll get rejected because maybe my website isn't old enough, or it's not, not got enough content on it, or it's not about something that's relevant. Russell says, it seems like it makes sense to join a few of the large brokerages, and you'll probably have a link to many of the companies you might be interested in. Absolutely, Russell. So, like, if you're a member of CJ.com and LinkShare.com and ShareASale.com and all these, these major affiliate brokerages, you probably already have access to a lot of these companies. But sometimes, if, if I've got a very specific... Um, if i got a very specific niche that I want to get involved in, like for me... With my, with my site that's all about finances and money and investing, sometimes I like just to go out to Google, especially if I've got a specific company in mind that I want to work with. Like, for example, let's say I do a lot of my investing with Fidelity. So if I put in a, a Fidelity affiliate program and I, want, I know the company I want to work with, sometimes it's easier just to Google it and see if they've got some sort of affiliate program. Or maybe I'm looking for like, Charles Schwab affiliate program. See if they've got an affiliate program, right? Um, looks like they have some sort of a referral program right here. Yeah, so like if I if I um, yeah, it's a referral program through Charles Schwab, right? So if I've got a specific company in mind, I might start at Google. But if I'm if I'm kind of just looking in general for various affiliates, 
I might start with some of the major brokerages for sure. Um, eBay does have an affiliate program. Yep. Pretty, uh, pretty much every major company is going to have a, an affiliate program. I mean, we could look up, how about a clothing company? How about um, Gap or Banana Republic? Banana Republic affiliate. Jeez, I can't type. Affiliate program. Affiliates. They do have an affiliate program. Sorry, this text is tiny, tiny, tiny. Let me zoom in. Um, okay. What does it cost to join? Nothing. Can I be a Gap or an Old Navy affiliate? Yes, you can apply to become an Old Navy affiliate by going to oldnavy.gap.com, blah, blah, blah. They're, it looks like they're owned by the same company. Um, where do I apply? You can sign up for your gap.com affiliate program at CJ now. Click here. So CJ.com manages theirs. So more medical. Yeah, I'll try that. Connie, for sure. More medical um, affiliate program. Um, we are pleased to offer access to widely respected organizations serving the medical community through, through their participating participate or participation. Wow, I couldn't say that in the more medical internet affiliate program. Um, yes, it looks like they do have some affiliates. Yep. They've got some very specific companies they work with too. Yeah, cool. They've got, it looks like they've got one. I mean, I'm telling you right now, if the company you want to like work with doesn't have an affiliate program, I'll bet the brands have them, right? Like we did earlier with Purell. Purell didn't have a direct one, maybe because they're just not big enough. But Purell sells to Amazon and they sell to Walmart. And so therefore, if I get an affiliate program through Amazon or Walmart, therefore I can sell Purell products, right? Does Wayfair have an affiliate program? Wayfair affiliate pro, I'd be shocked if they didn't. Wayfair partner program. Affiliate program. Yep, learn more. Yep, they sure do. 5% commissions, easy sign-up, reliable tracking, and timely payment in partnership with ShareASale. That's Rakuten. So, yep, looks like Rakuten takes care of them. All right, anyway, so point proven, right? I, ho I hope this makes sense, guys. Like every, virtually every single brand that you can think of, you can promote online. And that's why when a lot of you guys learned about this program and, and you said, well, you know, can you guys help me find access to products? We can. We were able to answer confidently and say, yes, we have access to almost any product through affiliates. Now, the difference here is the affiliate programs, you're promoting their links and promoting their banners. And you're basically pushing customers to click on those banners and links. And, and you make commissions off of that. So they're not really your customers. You're just kind of like a referral company that's referring people over to these sites. It's different from drop shipping, right? If it's if it's drop shipping, people are coming to your site, they're paying you, and you're taking them on as your own customer, and then you're having some sort of partner company send out products on your behalf. Generally, your commissions are higher in drop shipping, but uh, you're limited in drop shipping because there's not nearly as many companies that are out there willing to drop ship. Like I can't I can't find a drop shipper for you know. Gap products. Gap's not going to drop ship for me. They don't have a distributor that's going to drop ship for me. So the only way I can drop ship Gap or Banana Republic or Old Navy products, I have to sign up as an affiliate, right? 
So affi affiliates are, are very easy to find. They're very reliable. If you Google search them, just like we showed you how to do tonight, you can find and work with virtually any company or brand that's out there. And if you can't find one and you need help with it, contact you know your coach or, or contact me directly if I work with you, or even challenge me here in, in in one of our in one of our marketing webinars, and I'll bet we'll be able to find in some way access to the product you want to sell. Richard and Virginia say we are approved at Avant Link for Roughwear.com, um, which are dog products. Does that make it easier to be approved by others? Um, not necessarily. I, what makes it easier for you guys to get approved by these companies is if you have a really nice looking site with nice products and nice content and information um, that's getting some traffic in Google. That's what gets you approved. Um, if, you're, if you're approved with other affiliates, that's not necessarily going to help your chances. Um, what's going to help your chances is a great looking website. All right, any other any other general questions then? <laughs> Anything that I missed? Yeah, uh Kathy use quotes. I mean if if uh you're doing a search and and it's not working out for you in the search bar, you can use quotes next to uh a, a keyword phrase like mossy oak. Mossy oak has two words. And so I wanted to only narrow down my search in Google to show me when Mossy Oak shows up just like that. I didn't want Google to show me a page that talked about oak trees that were mossy, right? I wanted Mossy Oak in that order, so I put it in quotes. Um, that sometimes can help out your search if you do that right. Um, Pam says Avant Link had me paste a URL into my template before they could consider me. I figured out I figured it out, but it was difficult. Is this normal? Um, it is to some extent. So so Avant Link is a brokerage, and and we're going to be doing a training on them hopefully pretty soon. But before they approve anybody, you know they they ask you for your website and you give it to them, but they want to make sure it's actually your website before they approve you. Because I because I, I I suppose if somebody asked me what my website is. I could give them any old website on the internet and say it's mine and, and they couldn't prove otherwise, but the way they can prove that it's my site is they give me some code, I have to paste it into my site and it verifies it. So I'll, I'll show you guys that more later, but I'm glad you figured that out, Pam. Yeah, I mean, drop shipping, what what are the limits that are put on it? Kathy asks. Well, there's really no limit because you can drop ship through a retailer anytime you want. But so like you use the example of Lego. Yeah, I could I could drop ship Lego products. I just find a a normal retailer like Toys R Us or Walmart or Amazon that sells Lego at a retail price and I could mark it up and sell it for myself. But what I couldn't do with Lego is I can't contact Lego directly and have them give me a wholesale price and have them drop ship for me. I can't do that because they won't drop ship. And other major brands won't do wholesale drop shipping direct. Rather, you have to drop ship through one of their partners, uh, one of their retailers. And, and as you guys have seen, sometimes that means you're pushing your prices way up if you're doing retail drop shipping, and it can be a little bit more difficult. So if you're dead set on a brand, and you're not having a lot of success selling at an inflated price, your next best option is to use an affiliate and, and promote it through some sort of an informational site. Good question. Okay, guys, um, I think we're going to finish up with that. Uh, hopefully this was, this was instructive tonight. I, I should never hear any of you say that you can't find an affiliate for your niche. You can. There's there's no way you can't find an affiliate for your niche. If you're using the big brokerages, if you're using a Google search like we did, if you're looking for a specific brand, or for heaven's sakes, just use Google AdSense because we can get Google AdSense ads 
um, on any of our sites because those ads automatically appear for us. Um, so there's lots of ways to monetize, guys. That's why if you have a website that's popular, it doesn't matter what the topic is about, there's a way to make money on it. And uh, we can find affiliates to do it with. Okay? All right, so we're doing it next week again. Uh, Thursday, same time, same place. And uh, I, 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 uh, if, I, I'd encourage you, if you have any questions or concerns, contact me or your coach. And we'll uh, we'll talk more marketing stuff next week, all right? Thanks for being here tonight. We'll see you guys next time.